Let's have a look at the ribbon. When you open up Excel, you will have a standard set of tabs across the top. So a file is by default to the left. You have the home, the insert, all the way up to view. And anything along that except for the help is then added, customizing from your needs. Now I have added the developer tab, which are used for things like VBA and some other functions. And I have power pivot as well added over here. Now within each of the tabs, you have a block and within the block, you have a certain number of functions that are related. So for example, if we look at the font, you have the color, the borders and the different formatting options here. So this way helps you to be able to have functions in Excel that are easily accessible. Now with the ribbon, there are a number of things that we could also do. So let's come across to the arrow here. If we click on the arrow right here, you can go across to a full screen mode where it removes completely the ribbon and you have an area within Excel that you can work easily. Now let's just click back onto the three dots there. Once we click here, we can go show tabs only. And now you just have the option of where the tabs are sitting. Now these are easily accessible. Just once you click onto them, it drops down. And once again, we can go down and click on the little arrow here. And we can always do always show ribbon. So these are the options that you have available. Now to customize the ribbon, there are two ways to access the customization. You can go to file and you can go down to options. And once you go to options, you have the customized ribbon. And this can bring you up a dialog box where you can do a number of things. Or an easier way is you simply come up to the ribbon, you right click on the ribbon, and you can go down to customize ribbon right here. Once again, we are opened up with a dialog box right here. And if there are some certain features that you want to add or delete, we can simply do this right here in Excel. So let's start by re-adding the add in button on our home tab. So as you know that it was available here. So we come on to home and we have the add-ins right here. We can click on it and click on add-ins. Now, when you press add, we will have a little error group here, which tells us that we need to add it to a custom group. Now, if we don't have a custom group, we need to pick a tab or we click a new group. So let's add a new group. Let's go and new group. Now on the new group, we can rename this. Let's first add in our add-ins. So we have now a new group called add-ins. The new group can be renamed to add-ins, add-ins, and you can also have a little logo or symbol if you want to have that. So let's just click onto that, press OK, and press OK. And as you can see, we have the dialog box just appear over here. Now, if you want to move this across, we could also do that. So let's just go and customize the ribbon once again. And what we can do is try to move the add-ins to another place. Now let's go and click on this and we can simply just move it up or down and let's just bring it all the way next to the clipboard right here press OK. And now you have your add ins button right here. So this is a very quick way to customize your ribbons. Let's go on to the quick access toolbar, which is right here on the top bar by default. Now what that allows us to do is give us some very easy options. So right now we have an auto save, we have a save button an undo a redo. And if we just click on this little arrow over here, you can simply have a look at the customizing options that we have. Now this quick access toolbar can have a new. So let's click onto that. We have a new there. And we can even go to things like quick print or even add things like spelling. Now, once we have the options that we want, we could also add in other options that are not available. So one thing we can do is let's go to show below the ribbon. 
we have show below the ribbon right here so it, it simply becomes an even faster way to access now one of the things that i use very regularly so let's go down here and let's go to more commands you can once again come up with a dialog box right here let's open that up one of the features that i use quite regularly our macro so we can have a look at the options that are available here on the left and you can use things like let's add a freeze panes this is something that's pretty useful that you may use regularly let's go and click on to macros and we can add those as well and if there are any other features that you use on a regular basis you can simply just take that and put it onto the right side now let's press ok now you have all your options that are here you can revise and add them it's just as simple as that this will allow you to customize your quick access toolbar as well as be able to be more efficient in the shorter easier functions that you have now, while we've had a look at the ribbon and looked at the quick access toolbar, there are some tricks and tips that you can use to make your work more efficient. Now, here we have the quick access toolbar. You can simply right click on this and we can do hide command labels. Now, let's click that and see what happens. And that simply removes all the text that's next to it. And this will allow you to be able to streamline your worksheets. Once again, if you want to go across to the customize ribbon, let's go and let's do customize quick access toolbar. What you can do is change the options. So for example, if you want to put freeze panes right to the top, simply click on it and that would be then the first option. So let's have a look here. And when you press okay, it would be moved across. There you go. You have that before the auto save. Another powerful feature of the ribbon is customizing it, not just with the standard options. So we are now just going to right click and add to, I'm just going to, let's right click onto the ribbon and here we go, customize the ribbon once again. Now we are going to add a personal tab that we want with all our features. Now we don't want things on home insert, we're going to add a new tab right here and we are going to rename this tab called, let's call it Semina's tab. You can call it whatever you want. You can have some little emojis. Let's click on the green icon, press OK. And now we have a custom tab right here. Uh, we need to rename that. Let's go and do that. Press OK. Now within the tab group, we are going to be adding some different functions. So let's call these quick tabs, quick features. You can rename it to whatever you want. Let's just do that. So say we use something like conditional formatting very a lot. You just click onto that, press add. We can add it right there. Custom sort, let's add that. Let's add things like email, add right there. And let's go down to the macros view. We can add that as well. And we can do things like a page setup. So you get the picture of how we can add different things to our tab. Now, once we press OK, you have the home tab here and we should have a new tab popping up right there. Press OK. And now you see you have a tab called Semina's tab. Once we click onto that, you can see all of the functions that we've added. So the powerful capabilities of customizing your ribbon in Excel are there to make you a lot more efficient than the existing tabs. I hope that you've learned something from this lesson today. And if you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.